Hi guys, Pawmaster here, and today I'm going to be opening up a full case of the Ad Icons Mystery Minis. Let's go. Alright, so I don't want to talk about this for too long, but you guys may be noticing in today's video that the lighting looks a lot better than how it does in previous videos. And that's actually because I just got a ring light for the channel, and that, that's why I didn't upload this video yesterday, because I usually upload on Mondays, because I was just finagling around with this light, and I wanted to get everything down pretty well and just get used to it before I started filming and it took a lot longer than I expected so I didn't have time to do the ring light, film, edit, and then do all the other stuff I have to do every day. And yeah, this ring light is super cool. I bought off Amazon at, with some some uh, Christmas money I got from relatives and yeah, it's really nice. You can put photos on it, f sorry, phones on it, cameras on it, anything to think of and it's even remote controllable. It has this little thing right here where you can I think control the lights or when your phone takes a photo or something and I haven't really learned how to use that one yet but for now we're just sticking with the light and I believe I have on a good setting right now it's not too bright not too dim but if you guys want it to be maybe a little bit brighter a little bit dimmer please let me know but other than that I'm just really excited about this light getting into the mystery minis I got a full case of them from entertainment earth I ordered two of them a few months ago back in September and I uploaded, sorry, I opened up one with Graceland. You guys can check out that video. It should be up on the channel. And then I'm going to be opening up the other one today. And when I got them in the mail, I made sure to mark which one of them was which case type because there's different case types. There's A, B, C, D, and E. And this one was case B. I have, a little, I have it on a little post-it note right here. So without further ado, let's just get started. I'm going to start opening up the front rows first. And yeah, in terms of the mystery maze I'm hoping for in this case, I really want to get the Sprout and then the Booberry to some of the rare ones because I already have all the commons from the first time I op opened this case. But yeah, let's just get straight into the first one. I'm trying my best not to feel around. Here's the first one. Oh, sweet! Our first one is the Lucky the Leprechaun, and this is a 1 in 12, so we're only going to get one of these today. So there you go, there's Lucky. I think the light be, might be a bit too bright because he, it's kind of hard for, you, for me or pro, and probably you to see him, but there's Lucky. There we go. Um, yeah, the, the first few on the front rows on pretty much any mystery mini case are almost always one in six. So just getting, or that was one in 12, but just getting one of the more common figures on that row just did not surprise me at all. Let's just kind of crack on this next one here. And yeah, uh, again, I really hope you guys enjoy this ring light. It's, uh, I'm just looking at the camera right now. The video just looks so much better. Again, I really hope you enjoy it. And please let me know down in the comments if you like it. Here's our second one. My bets on Count Chocolate, but he's also one at six. Here we go. Oh, it's Frankenberry. I think he might be a rare one. Um, let me check for a second. Oh no, okay, Frank Bray is just a 1 in 12. Nonetheless, this is a really nice mini. It looks pretty similar to the pop, at least in terms of the overall sculpt. But there we go, there's Frankenberry right there. Well, that's surprising. So we've gotten two 1 in 12s in the first two boxes. So I'm not sure what to expect in the middle row, but actually, yeah, while I'm opening this up, I thought I would, uh, I'll flash up a photo of the mystery mini ratios on the screen so you guys have a reference point as to which ones are rare and which ones are not. And yeah, and in terms of, I think the rarities, I think I already mentioned this, but there, we should get six, sorry, nine commons, which is the one in 12 and the one in six ones, and then three exclusives, which is 120, or three rare ones, which is uh, rarities 120, one out of 24 or higher. And here's our third mystery mini. Ooh, nice. Can't really see his eyes in the video, but we got King Ding Dong. This is a really nice mini. It looks pretty similar to the pop in terms of the sculpt, because I actually just got the pop. It's, uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, so there we go. There are the two of them here. They look very similar, as you guys can see. I mean, it, the difference is almost, it's not even noticeable, except for the size, but it's so crazy. Look at that. It looks exactly the same. Same pose and scepter and everything. That's really cool. Nice pop, nice mystery mini. Moving on to our fourth box, we uh, are kind of due for a rare mystery mini sometime in the near future. I'm really, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm really hoping for that Boo Berry, which is the 1 in 36 figure. But we'll have to wait and see to see what we get. Also, like I said, trying to do my best not to feel what the actual figures are. 
All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, backwards. Hey man, what's up? Uh, there you go. This is the Kool-Aid Man. Unfortunately, the light makes it a bit hard to see because there's a bit of a glare, so I'll make sure to make a note to turn on the, to the uh, brightness on the next video. But here's the Kool-Aid Man. He is a 1 in 12, and similar to Ding Dong, King Ding Dong, he looks exactly like the actual pop of himself. Even in the ice cube, especially in the whole picture dynamic, it looks great. And the only thing that makes it different from a pop is just the overall face sculpture, face sculpt, which, which is more similar to the actual Kool-Aid packages that you see in the store. But yeah, there's Kool Man. Kool Man, he is a 1 in 12, and honestly, one of my favorite mystery minis out of this entire set. I, guys, I don't, really don't know what's going on. We've gone 1 in 12s, or I think, yeah, I think we've only gone 1 in 12s in the, for the entirety of this video. The Ding Dong, the Lucky, the um, the Frankenberry, and then the Kool Aid Man. So we we are very, very, really due for the 1 in 6 figures as well as some of the rare ones. So. I'm really excited to see what, which rare ones we're going to get, because that's kind of the main point I open Mystery Minis, is to see the rare ones. And I just completely destroyed that box. R.I.P. Alright, here's our next one. Again, try not to feel what it is. Do, do, do. Oh, nice! This is one of the 1 in 6 ones that I'm, oh, I'm pretty sure it is. This is the Bob's Big Boy. He is the, oh, whoa, just dropped him. He is the mascot for the Bob's Big Boy restaurant in Southern California. It might be a chain, I kind of forgot, but I really like what they did with this one. It looks pretty similar to the SCCC pop. And the eyes are just really cute, just how they're drawn and sculpted and all that stuff. So there you go, that's Bob's Big Boy. And man, I'm hungry and that burger looks delicious right now, just gotta say. All right, this is our last mystery mini for the top row. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, guys. I'm sorry. These can be kind of hard to open sometimes. But here we go. I'm. Where are all the rare ones, though? They all, they're they always on the top middle. I don't understand why they're not. But I'm, I'm going top to bottom in case you guys don't know. Yeet. All right, let's see what we got. We need some luck here, guys. Come on. What could this one be? Here we go. Oh, please see Sprout, please, I want him. Oh man, darn it, it's another big boy. This is our first duplicate of the box. And I'm not gonna say anything about him because I just spoke for like a minute about him. So there he is. All right, we are halfway done and I'm going to get going into the bottom row. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but the this case number is B. So keep that in mind. These are all the figures that you will get in a B box. Let's scrap this one open. Um, while I'm opening this up, why don't you guys pause this video and let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite ad icon mystery mini that has come out so far? Uh, this whole set here. Just do that for me. All right, this is our next one. Feeling in my, I feel the feet in the bottom of my hand. Ready? Three, two, one. Sprout. Oh, okay. Okay. This is our first rare one in the box, which I already have, which sucks, but it's still rare. This is the one in 24 Twinkie the Kid. This is a great looking Mr. Mini. It looks very similar to the pop, just like most of them do. And this is something you won't notice unless you actually can see it from my view, but the, oh, you can't even see it because of the ring light, but on the back there, you guys can see three little dots where the cream filling of a Twinkie is supposed to be. And that's a really nice touch that Funko decided to include in this Mr. Mini. And yeah, this is our first rare one, which is a 1 in 24. Nice. Moving on to the second one in the front row for the bottom. That was a very nice pull. And just judging off the rarities, I think we should have another two rare ones to go out of five left. So that's going to make a nice end to the video. Opening it up. Woo. All right, here we go. Feel it in my hand. Three, two, one. Yes! It's backwards. You guys can't see it, but yes! I needed this one. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Our next poll is the one out of 36 Boo Berry. Nice. Yes, let's go guys, I'm so excited. 
Yeah, again, he is a 1 out of 36, the guy from the Monster Serials that always come out during Halloween. I am so excited to have this one because I did not pull it in the first case with Graceland. And there we go. That is the 1 in 36 Booberry. Really cool figure. I am so excited about that. <laughs> Yay! All right, I think out of that, I think one of the only ones I need is the Sprout and then maybe the, I think I got the Fruit Fruit in the last set, which is awesome because it was a 1 in 72, but I think I still might need the, the Yummy Mummy and then the Sprout, obviously. But that's a really nice pull to get in the second case. Here's our next mystery mini. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, well, that's some, some stuck them there, but. Uh, our next pull is the one out of 12 Green Giant. Get one of these in every case, so that's pretty good. Uh, there, there is. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't gotten any of the one in six Count Chocolates yet. I'm sure I'm gonna get him in a little bit, but there's the Green Giant, he's a one in 12. Now I need his companion, Sprout, please. Ow, it's through the red of my foot. Darn it. Ah, that hurt. Here's our next mini. We only have three more to go, including this one. I think I'm going pretty fast so far. I'm only right, we're 10 minutes into the video and I have opened, what, nine mystery minis? So that's pretty good. Uh, all right, here we go. Here is our next one. I'm really trying not to feel what it could be because I'm trying to keep a surprise, but here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Our, la our third and presumably final rare pull is the one in 24 Yummy Mummy. This one is awesome, especially since the pop is incredibly hard to get. It's limited to 2,500 pieces. I really like how this one is designed just with the different colors on his little robe there and then the arms stick out, look really nice. He looks so happy too. That's really awesome, but there you go. Now, these last two, unless it's some sort of really freakish occurrence, should be the one in, one in six count Choculos, but that, that's the last ones that I haven't opened yet out of the guaranteed ones, and there's only two mystery minis left. So if this one's a count Choculo, I'm just not gonna open the other one because there's really no reason to. It's just the same one. All right, here is our 11th mystery mini. That was a weird noise. All right, there we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, just as I expected. This is the one in 12 count, sorry, one in six count Chocula. There's two of them in this box. This is really awesome as well. This the hand pose, like the Yummy Mummy is great. But yeah, there's a nice look at count Chocula. And yeah, I'm just not gonna open this one in the video because it's gonna be the same thing, so. Yeah, uh, that is all I got for you today. So in today's video, we got a bunch of different Ad Icons mystery minis. We got the one in 12 one in 12, Koi Man. One in six, Bob's Big Boy. One in 12, Lucky the Leprechaun. One in 12, Frankenberry. One in 24, Twinkie the Kid. One in 36, Booberry, which I was super happy about. One out of 12, King Ding Dong. One out of six, Camp Chocula. One out of 12, Green Giant. And then one out of 24, Yummy Mummy. And yeah, that's a little recap of how this video went. But yeah. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Pop Master. Let me know, let me know down in the comments how you like this whole new ring light thing. It, it looks really good just looking at the video through my camera. But I want to see how you guys like it. And if you want to make any adjustments, like maybe have some other lights that are in that side of the room behind the camera on or something like that to help with the lighting. But for now, I'm really liking how it look, it's looking. So just please let me know how you like, how what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.